Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. That's when I started researching the brothels. And I was like, oh, wow, this is like, this is a thing. I'll make the same amount of money. I could pop in there for a week, promote it, make good money, pay the taxes on it. And that seemed the easiest way for me to do um, kind of an escorting thing, right? So first I went to Sherry's Ranch, um, which is outside of Vegas. It's in Pahrump. And Sherry's is um, very nice. Like, I mean, like everyone has like a suite and like, I personally, like, I love the girls. I miss being on set around other sex workers. That is the hard thing about doing everything at home is that you you don't have that like bond with all these sex workers. And for me, going to Sherry's Ranch or going to the Bunny Ranch was a way for me to be around other sex workers. And it was great. And I've made some really great friends from working at the brothel industry, in the brothels. However, I think that the brothels are um, not up to date with um, how they uh, value the ladies, that's what they call them, we call the workers, for the ladies. They, I feel that the 50-50, like whatever you make there, they take half, is ridiculous. Um, I, there is not a lot of incentive um, from management for girls to make, like make tier money, like to, like motive, there's not a lot of motivation Um, I, I think that the brothel industry has a long way to go and I'll tell you, I'll give you the perfect example. Um, on March 13th, 2020, I was at the bunny ranch and, uh, we were doing one of those house meetings. Like you remember on the TV show, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, what was their cat house? Uh, all the girls, the tea party. You remember? I've never watched the show, but okay, it's it's a good I've show. Been, I've been to rehab, so I know what house meetings are. Okay, like. so <laughs> so okay, so they have a house meeting, um, and basically it goes over. Uh, it's just like, what are we doing in the next few weeks? Like, what's going on in town? Ta- like for outdates and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what are a certain restaurant is offering the girls if they bring a date there? Because you can do outdates at Bunny Ranch. You, you get this discount or whatever, you know, but just an informative meeting, right? So March 13th, of course, you know, I'm freaking out because it's COVID. COVID, I mean, it was a day before lockdown, basically. And yeah, all, the, all the news was, this is going to hit us like a tidal wave. This is a big deal. And I started getting really paranoid because I didn't feel they were taking any precautions at all to keep us safe or whatever, because they didn't know anything. We all just Mm -hmm. didn't know anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I spoke up because my income does not, did not rely on them. Right. Mm -hmm. So I felt that a lot of the girls, ladies there, they couldn't say what I could say. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. so I spoke up and I said, what are you doing to protect the ladies and the clientele. What am I supposed to tell somebody who wants to come here? What are the protocols? What are, what are you doing? And the woman who was running the house meeting said, well, if you don't feel comfortable, you can leave. And I said, bye. (laughs) And well, first I said, well, am I going to be charged? leaving early because that is something that the brothels will do is you could technically be charged if you for your house 
rent, which is nothing. Yeah. Cause um, I assume like you, you book out a room or a suite for a certain amount of time. Yeah. And so then if you leave early, mm -hmm. they charge you for the days that you weren't there. Yeah. And I wanted to question her in front of everyone. So everyone was on the same page, which was also very frustrating for them, I think. But, um, I said, well, are you going to charge me? If I leave, no, anyone is, anyone is allowed to leave if they don't feel comfortable. Right. And so I was like, okay. And I went and I packed my shit and I fucking quit. Um, mm -hmm. the brothel industry has a long way to go. I think, I think Alice little someday would make an amazing brothel owner. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't, they're not, I mean, one of the one of the things that really irritated me was, you know, the Bunny Ranch at these um, meetings, they were talking about how they advertised in some magazine and oh look in the ma in this in in Exotica, Portland. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You have no <laughs> online, you have nothing online. You yeah. have no new articles since Dennis died. What are you doing online? Why am I giving you half of my money? That, yeah. that personality does not work in a brothel. That is mm. asking too many questions and being informed. It is not really welcome. Mm. Yeah. It sounds like they're kind of stuck in the they're dinosaur stuck. age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah which, it's, you know, that, you know, that old, you know, agent thing, or, you know, that vibe of the girls are this commodity mm -hmm. kind of thing. And, you know, I don't like that. I mm -hmm. can't, I, I don't work in that environment. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean, the, the, the future of the brothel industry is Alice Little. Yeah. And where she's going with it. She is amazing. And for those of you who haven't seen it, um, definitely go back and check out my interview with her because I did interview her, um, a couple months ago. It's, it's, I think one of my best episodes, she is so intelligent and really just like lays out everything about working in a brothel, the thing that she does, um, in a way that, you know, I, I even I've never heard before and, um, mm -hmm. yeah, she's, she's incredible. So yeah. I, I agree. I think that she would do an amazing job. And, um, I mean, she pushes young, every so. day. Yeah, she is. And she pushes every day to improve the lives of brothel workers. She pushes as far as she can get, um, with incentives and tier tier stuff. she, Every new girl that comes to the Bunny Ranch or their other uh, ranches that were right down the street, we call it the cul-de-sac. It was like a cul-de-sac of, of um, brothels basically across the street that they also owned. But who knows after. <sighs> she would do an intake with every single new girl. Now, she's just mm -hmm. she didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. And she would give her phone number to every new girl. And she would, if anyone had any questions, if they wanted to do drills on, um, negotiations, you know, how to get what you feel is fair, you know, all this kind of stuff. I mean, she, she is the future of that industry for sure. Yeah. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.